hey guys welcome back to the channel happy weekend hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful weekend today we'll be making some polari some traditional Guyanese polari using freshly ground split peas so keep watching and hope you enjoy so guys we'll start off by making a garlic and pepper paste so here we have about 10 cloves of garlic and one hot pepper which we'll blend to make a paste and here we are making some mango sour to go with the flowery you can check out our white pudding video if you want to see how we make the mango sour i will leave the link in the description below so moving on to the split peas we start off by soaking one pack of split peas overnight then using a little water at a time we grind it to make a butter and this is the main part in making polari the traditional way to give it the taste and texture there are so many version of polari out there but nothing beats the traditional polari that made from freshly ground spit peas so here we have our freshly ground spit peas and the mango sour is also finished look at the goodness guys it's looking so good can't wait to give it a try so guys a quick look at all the ingredients we'll use to mix this flowery we got some chopped shallot baking powder turmeric jeera garlic pepper paste salt all-purpose flour and our freshly ground split peas So guys, we are starting to mix the polari and we'll be using 3 cup of freshly ground split peas and to that we add 3 teaspoon of the garlic pepper paste we made earlier We also went in with 2 teaspoon of jeera 2 teaspoon of turmeric powder and two teaspoon of baking powder we also add salt to taste and we'll mix everything in until it's well combined so guys as you notice we didn't add any flour as yet as we wanted the spice to mix with the split peas first so here we have our split peas and spice mixture now we'll add in our flour we use one cup of all-purpose flour and we'll mix it in until it's well combined now guys the amount of flour you will need for your split peas is depending on how much water you use to blend your split peas with so add flour accordingly if you use too much water you will have a watery split piece and then you will need to add more flour if you use less water you will have a drier split piece and you will need to use less flour and the goal is is to use less flour as possible so guys we also add a handful of chopped shallot and we mix it in so this is looking good here I don't think we need any more flour now we'll set this aside until we are ready to fry so guys we are going to start frying the polari we have a pan with some canola oil heat up on medium heat you don't want to fry on high heat as the inside of the polari won't cook so you want to keep it on medium heat then using your fingers make small balls and drop it into the oil and let it fry you can also use water to wet your fingers so it's not so sticky and this will also help you in shaping and dropping the balls in the oil easily so we'll continue to shape and drop balls in the oil and let it fry until it's golden brown 
Also remember to give it a turn so that it fried evenly. So guys, the first batch of polari is finished frying and check out these golden balls. Looking so delicious. Okay guys, for those of you who don't know what is polari or never had polari before, polari is a split piece fitter. Best served with mango sour or tamarind sour. Also, it's a common street snack in Guyana, Trinidad, and Suriname. There are many versions of Polari depending where you're from, but the best one for us is the traditional Guyanese Polari with freshly ground split beef. And if there is a family gathering, Polari is sure to be the number one snack as it's known and loved by all. So guys, we'll continue in frying our polari. We are halfway through. It is so delicious. So guys, here is a closer look at the polari. We serve it with some nice mango sour. Look at these beautiful, delicious golden balls. It's nice and crispy on the outside and it's soft and dense in the inside. Oh, and the mango sour is just perfect. It's thick and creamy, and they are the perfect combination. Check out the goodness, guys. Yum. So guys, the polari was a hit. It was delicious. It was too good. The polari and mango combination was just mouth watering. It's a quick and easy recipe, so please give it a try. And if you do, let us know how it turns out for you. Also, drop us a comment and let us know how you preferred your polari with mango sour or tamarind sour. We love to hear from you guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to join the family. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. With that being said, we just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. We really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Have a safe and blessed week ahead and we'll see you on the next Weekend Vibes. Cheers!